What up? This is uh, Odin here again for another day of the vlog. I have lost count of uh, which day it is because I've been doing other stuff and not uploading and editing lately videos. But uh, that's fine. I don't know what I'm uh, talking about today. I want to focus on not mumbling and just uh, looking in the camera. Um, I started listening to The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. Just listened to the first chapter. And it's very interesting. But uh, it's about an architect. So far, what I can say it's about an architect who has very interesting ideas. Uh, yeah, it talks about uh, how how one uh, one material the material and the context of the building decides how it should be not traditional. Uh, yeah, the first entire first chapter is about the conversation he has with the dean of the school after being uh, dismissed because he, he uh, made such absurd designs that they just uh, wanted throw him out and uh, pretty strange that would not happen now I think people actually get uh, dismissed from from uh, because of the work they do I don't know that's weird it never happened here so I study uh, I I just hand in some weird stuff and go like yeah, but I don't believe in the tradition, I believe in uh, uh, originality, uh, context and shit. I don't know, they would just fail my grade. They wouldn't have, like, call me into a meeting or call a meeting of staff and go like, hmm, should we dismiss Odin? He's making weird designs, perversion of the art of architecture or music in this case. No. <laughs> that wouldn't happen. No one cares that much about art. Really? I think. I've never met someone who's like that serious about any about anything. It's rather almost looked down upon to take something that seriously. You're like a super nerd or some shit. I wonder where that comes from. It's obviously it wasn't like that. It seems our vision of the uh, past that intellectualism and and uh, creativity and stuff was more valued in society. Now, like if you're intellectual or creative at school, you get both. I wonder where that comes from. What's the reason? Maybe it always was like this. I have no fucking idea. But, uh, I don't know. This is good. I kept <laughs> talking while we were in the It did throw me off quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, cool. It's a bit of a new experience. It must look weird, but I shouldn't think about it. I'm an army Get, like a selfie stick man, my friend will hate me if I get a selfie stick. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so, yeah, got lots of uh, shit to do. Me and my band were arranging a, an, an underground festival to celebrate the diversity of the musical culture in this city. Like a mini festival, two days. I'm designing the logo, and I should have had it done last week. <sighs> so I better fucking get my shit together. And do that. I don't know if I'm mumbling or stuff now. Uh, I'm definitely rambling. So. No idea what I'm talking about. I'm just 
just the same. The first thing comes to mind. And it's cool. And uh, once again, whenever I get conscious, ever I get conscious that I'm just rambling and saying whatever comes up the top of my head, head and worrying that it's not really that good. I get reminded of the purpose for doing this vlog in the first place, which I have explained many times, but it does not hurt to reiterate it for myself. And now, I think I'm speaking weird, it's because I'm, I'm that last part, what I just said, I was focusing immensely getting the words clear, clearly out. And I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to talk in a more engaging way. Um, and just separate the emotion from the content and talk as if though what I'm saying is the most interesting thing in the world. Is it working? I know, you see. So, anyway, it is good that I am rambling because it reminds me of the purpose of this vlog. And as I said, it does not hurt to reiterate this for myself because that's really the point of this. That I break up new paths in my mental habits to not try to make something amazing and perfect and that sounds counterintuitive could I make an awesome video where I talk about some cool shit if I planned it put of time did several cuts used what I was happy with yes it would be fucking amazing but it would for one it would take a lot of time and I'm pretty busy right now but another thing is would I do it because I have serious problems with perfectionism um I, I really, when I start making something or I start having ideas, I think I'm gonna walk here. I don't really know the best route through this part of uh, the city. It's just a bunch of houses. Uh, anyway, when I get an idea, I have a strong tendency to blow it up out of proportion in my mind. I start thinking, fuck yeah, man, this is the best idea ever, and it's gonna be so fucking great. But do this, and this, and this, and this, and it's just gonna be absolutely freaking amazing. Everyone will love it, and that will give me reason to feel good about myself. And that is just fucked. <laughs> so, Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it sarcastically when people talk about Trump. Now I started doing it. Probably shouldn't. Uh, all right. Um, yeah. <laughs> so what that does when I create this epic image in my mind of the product of the result I want to have, it uh, it really makes uh, it, it makes blocks. And in the end, I don't do it because when I'm working on it, all I can focus is on all I can all I can focus on is damn. Mm, I need it to be like this and this and this and this. And if it's not, it's no good. No, fuck, it's not turning out exactly like it's in my mind. Oh god damn, what am I doing with my life? This is a waste of time, and I end up not doing it. And uh, this that's really like putting it in a very concrete way because usually it doesn't even manifest like that it just manifests as resistance which is an emotion when uh, 
you get when you don't when you don't want to do anything or you don't want to do the thing you you're supposed to do and that causes procrastination and just makes you distracted and that happens to me so so much and i've been struggling i've been struggling with this for years literally years like fuck man oh so many years but i think i finally caught the culprit i finally caught the root cause of this problem for me and is perfectionism as a result of not being internally validated so that I subconsciously want to use other people to confirm my identity as an intelligent, creative and talented person or even a genius. It's so hurtful and I need to get that shit out of my mind. And I'm saying it right now. I'm saying it right now. I'm gonna say it right now right here to the camera I am not uh, let's try again I am not a genius everything I touch is not turned to gold I need to take simple steps one little thing at a time to get to a result I want I'm just some fucking guy anyone can do exactly what I do and what's even more it doesn't really matter because I should get to feel good about myself anyway yeah pretty much pretty much it right there and that's the most important thing that I need to know that I can feel, I should, and I have to feel good about myself, no matter what. I gotta love myself, I gotta be my own friend. But if I'm not, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you love yourself? That's a fucked up thing here in Norway. It's called uh, Janteloven. 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 That's how I would pronounce it. And it's just like a... It's not really a law. It's like, just like an underlying attitude in the culture. But, oh, damn. I think I'm getting out here. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> go back around. Yeah, but essentially, it's it's really a catch-22, it's a double bind. Because uh, in the culture, you you kind of get this attitude that you, you, sh you need to excuse yourself for, for just being, basically. And it's like, yeah, never, you never get to be better. You can't be better than anyone else, or you, you can't uh, you can't stand out, and you should not feel like you're worth anything. And man, it's fucked because uh, the facet of it that is that you shouldn't get to feel like you're worth something. It gives you bad self-esteem, and that makes you that makes you want. Or that makes you need to, like your mind needs to find logical reasons for why you have value. And at the same time, you, you, sh you don't get to stick out and be different and be better than others. So it's really, it's like, because you don't, because you don't get... You feel good about yourself 
just naturally without any reason you need to try to to do something good you need to try to do something good in order to justify your existence but you feel ashamed when you do that because at the same time you're not allowed to stand out in a positive light because it makes makes others feel bad and oh, man it's weird it's fucking weird uh, yeah i don't know if i really explained that or if that made sense but uh that's my thoughts on the matter and well i'll see you tomorrow